Hello everyone, my name is Stanislav Maslowski and in this short video I will present the motivation and the main results of our work devoted to realization of phase conjugating in linear metasurfaces capable of perfect imaging of microwaves. Initially this work grew out of the search for alternatives to the non-perfect lens concept proposed by Sir John Pendry. As is well known, Pendry found that the planar slab of an ideal visualizing medium with both permittivity and permeability simultaneously equal to minus 1 may operate as a perfect lens, with the resolution not limited by ample diffraction limit. Such a lens focuses the field of a point source into a corresponding point in the image plane, so that all sublens details of the source are restored in the image. As is known, there are two physical phenomena that allow for such perfect imaging, the negative refraction and the excitation of coupled plasma polarities at the surfaces of the Visalaga slab. So, if all the important phenomena happen at the surfaces, why then do we need the bulk material? And actually, it is possible to show that we don't need bulk metamaterials for perfect imaging. In 2003, we demonstrated that a pair of thin metasurfaces that conjugate the phases of the tangential electric and magnetic fields penetrating through them make a perfect lens, because these surfaces provide for both negative refraction and the excitation of coupled plasma polariton pairs. Much later, in 2008, Pendry proposed a similar concept using nonlinear parametrically pumped dielectric sheets that do the phase conjugation only in the electric field. His proposal requires very strong nonlinearities, which are not available in natural materials, and therefore his proposal has not been experimentally tested so far. In contrast, our phase conjugating planes are power conserving and don't require parametric amplification at all, and therefore should be much easier to realize. In this work, we discussed the realization at microwave frequencies. We employ the idea that practically arbitrary metamaterial or a metasurface can be realized at microwaves with small metallic inclusions, meta-atoms, that operate as antennas that can receive the microwave signal, do the required operations, and retransmit it back. Thus, we may build our phase conjugating surfaces from short electric dipoles and small magnetic loops loaded with non-reciprocal, non-linear circuits. Actually, some years ago, we studied similar structures composed of linear inclusions and demonstrated that even with arrays of linear inclusions, some limited sublens imaging may be achieved. So here is this uh, first grid forming a superlens, and I will show you how this particle looks like. It is a meander, a resonant uh, particle, lambda over two lengths. And now I position the second grid. And the probe which was used to scan the image looks like this. It is a small electric dipole antenna with a balloon. And then you move it and scan like this. And that's it. In nonlinear phase conjugating arrays that we study in this work, the subaglance imaging occurs because of a similar phenomenon, which is, however, assisted with the phase conjugation operation that allows for nearly perfect imaging. In this paper, we derive the physical requirements for this nonlinear phase conjugating arrays. And from these requirements, we established the necessary microwave design of the meta atoms and their loading circuits. Let me finish with inviting everyone interested in metamaterials and sublens imaging topics to read our paper and maybe to start implementing the proposed designs in the practical device. Thank you for your attention.